This morning, a police officer's widow suing Fuzzy's taco shop and a bartender after a drunk driver left that restaurant and killed, got into a crash that killed her husband. Last month, 27-year-old Dylan Molina pleaded guilty to intoxication, manslaughter, and three cases of intoxication assault and the death of Detective Alejandro Cervantes. Tiffany Liu joins us with the latest details on this case. And Tiffany, attorneys say the restaurant tried to avoid responsibility after that crash. Yeah, absolutely, Mark Kerr. This morning we are taking a closer look at that lawsuit, and really the question here is whether the officer's death could have been prevented. Now, this all happened in November 2021. A Euless police officer, Alex Cervantes, was with, his, was with his family on the road. Now, a man named Dylan Molina crashed into them and tried to take off before a good Samaritan took him down. Molina took a plea deal a few weeks ago and is now serving 15 years in prison for intoxication, assault, and manslaughter. While he's been sentenced, a woman named Kayla Richardson is now charged with over-serving him at Fuzzy's Taco Shop before the crash. Documents show Molina was given eight double vodka cocktails in under three hours. And now in this new lawsuit, we are learning Kayla Richardson, Fuzzy's Taco Shop, Molina, and even General Motors are all being sued. The documents state that day, Richardson and the manager of the restaurant did not have a Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission server certificate, license, or permit. The lawsuit goes on to claim that the restaurant had the workers obtain that that license three days later. In addition, General Motors is being sued. The suit says at the time of the collision, there was a defective occupant restraint system that failed to protect Officer Cervantes during the crash. Now we have reached out to Fuzzies. We've also reached out to General Motors and we are still waiting to hear back. Carol, let's send it back to you.